Hey everyone, B Dog here. I wanted to do another um, quick guide to how to get wins in Power Cap. It's going to be similar to what I did in OT, um, where I'll try to be fast, but at the same time, I just want to cover everything, every tip I have um, in regards to Power Cap because it's another, I'm a fully free to play player, and this is another one where you can get top reward really easily. Um, but it is a skill based event, so it does depend on your ability to score. Um, with that said, there are things you can do to make it really hard on yourself or you can make it a lot easier on yourself before you even enter the game. So um, I just want to give you a quick um, setup first and prep before you get into a game and then also gameplay. So um, first, if you're, if you're new to the Power Cap event, so it has five different leagues on the bottom left and each league um, has a different amount of points it gives you, but it also gives you a different a different power limit for your max team power. And so right now I've unlocked all five and I'm playing on League 5. And you'll see on League 5 that my power cap is 19,059. So my overall max power is 25,000, but I've got to limit my team to under 19,059. Um, I've got a lot of options here. You know, I, I had my playoff cards, which are Tatum and Curry, which really help. And then the rest I've earned through last week's um, power, or finals event. Um, if you saw my gameplay in OT, you'll see that I have the same style of gameplay I have in OT, where I have my first, you know, my, oops, sorry, my, my point guard, my shooting guard, and my small forward are all three-point shooters. Um, and that's how I do it. I play, I shoot threes and I play good defense. And so I have all three of my my front court as three-point shooters and I just max them out as you can see as much as I can. You can do this without maxing them out. Um, you don't have to have the best shoes or the best mentors but those obviously do help a lot. So I've got those maxed out. Notice that I do have my smaller mentors. So I do you know I have bigger mentors but in power cap you actually want to limit your uh, power to get underneath that threshold for me it's 19,059 so all of these guys have smaller mentors so that I can have um, either a lower limit on my power cap or I mean a higher limit on my power cap or um, I just don't want these guys to drive my overall power up and then like I said on D like I did on overtime I max out my defense if possible and so I've got my max defense don't really care about the other stats. If I have them, great. But really, I just want to focus on my defense on these guys. So um, that's my team setup. And there are a lot of things you can do. So I did have multiple power forwards. You know, and I have a bigger power forward in my lineup. So I do have Odom over there, but he makes me too big. So I went with Green. Similarly with my Al Horford, I do have... In that case, I have a lot smaller, um, you know, center with that Celtics Evans or whatever his name is. I can't even tell. <laughs> Sorry. Um, I just mix and match until I get that power where I want it. And then, uh, like you see, my power is 18,950, really close to 19,000. So the closer you get to your power cap, the better chances you have of making shots. So... Just play around with your teams. Try to get the max as close as you can to your power cap, your max allowed power cap. That will help your shots. Um, that was a lot for team setup. But the biggest thing going into this event is who you're playing. So you're going to see a huge range in your opponents as far as a power range goes. Um, and I just back and forth until I find the one I want. And they don't. Ha they do have a set number of teams you play. So it's not like it just randomly mixes them up um, per game. It has a set number of teams. So you'll actually run into the same teams over and over and over every time you re-roll. And so just so you know, because I've been playing, I've seen a power range from a power of 20,000, roughly 20,000 for my opponent, all the way up to like 26,000. So when I'm doing this, when I'm looking for an opponent, I'm literally backing out and coming in until I find the one I want. So there's a 20,000 right there. He only has 800 on the boost. I do pay attention to my scores. So you look at individual lineups. So for my point guard, I've got 24,000. 
this their point guard is 14, so I have a mismatch there in my favor. You you make more shots if you have the mismatch in your favor. Shooting guard, I don't have the I don't have the advantage. That's okay. Neither with my small forward. But I really I like Curry. I start off with Curry. He's going to have the mismatch. Um, what that mismatch does, if it's in your favor, is you'll make more shots. You'll get more greens. And secondly, you can actually steal the ball better if you have the power mismatch. So uh, pay attention to those individual lineups as well as that overall power. This is a good overall power, and I've got the point guard mismatch in my favor, so I'm just going to go for it. Really, it's that overall power because, like I said, I, if I went with a 26,000, I would have a much lower probability of making shots, whereas this 20,000 gives me a better chance. So I'm just going to go for this one. I've got a lot of power in waiting. Not going to mess with this. And um, I'm just going to show you some gameplay here. It's a little different than with your overtime because you have your two-minute rule. You still start out with the ball, but you have your two minutes. But similar concept applies. So like you saw with me, I just go for threes. <laughs> If you saw my over overtime, but I just get Curry over here, get a first three. If you don't, I still miss. That's all right. Um, I don't mind if I miss. Play good D. I'm just going to keep going for that three. We'll see if I can get a steal. So there's a steal right away. Um, I've got any one of these guys that can shoot threes. So I got Tatum here in the corner. Let's see what he does. There's a green. This is all I do, really. Um, but that big key rule, if you didn't watch overtime... Remember that 2K does not allow you to hit a three-point shot twice in a row with the same player. Very rare. So what I always do, I just made one with Tatum. So I go to a different player. And there they made one. That's all right. So I go to a different player because they won't allow you to hit a, two, a, a shot twice in a row with the same player. Kind of silly, but it's it, I've just seen it over and over. There's my Curry with the green. I just go back and play D. So Curry made a shot. I'm not going to go with Curry. I'll probably try with my Ray Allen next. Um, that's a huge tip. Go back and forth between your scores, whoever they are, um, because it will make a difference. So watch this. I'll try to go to Allen. Allen's release is kind of funny because and he could have got a dunk there, but I really don't care. Right now, I'm, I could clock manage. You know, I've got 40 seconds left, so I could clock manage. I've got four-point lead. So I'll, I'll do some clock management and do a little bit of stall offense. To get open, I always run to the sideline, then I come back this way. And I make a shot, even if I didn't green it. His release is so quick, and I also am getting glitchy. But here I've got the win. So like you see, I rotate between my three-point shooters, and then just play good defense. You know, I don't swipe at the ball a lot. Um, if I don't foul, that's great. I don't swipe at it there if I want. But I, I have the win already, so I'm not going to do anything to stop the clock. I just want the win. So I got the win. Um, normally I try to score here in overtime because the more you score, the more stats you get. Sometimes you get more event points. Here it's not that critical. I'll throw another shot up. It doesn't really matter. But really easy win on League 5. Again, a lot of it has to do with that overall team power. And this is it's getting glitchy, <laughs> which is funny. Um, overall team power, you can also pay attention to your matchups. Really, the, the biggest thing is that overall power. Just cycle through those opponents until you get one you like. Um, because you will have low opponents. There's like a 6,000 point range. And again, just to... So here's a 23,000 with a boost. So they're, they're up at like 25,000. So I'm just going to go back. 22,000 with 2,000 boost. So that's 25,000. 20,000 with the 1,500 boost. I wouldn't choose this team because they've got a high front court but it's not bad that's actually not a bad team not one of the best but not one of the worst either i just want to show you what i'm looking at this one's a definite no see how high curry is so i'm staying away from that mismatch and you see it's getting very glitchy this one look all the way up to 24 but then it has a boost to 2600 so it's up to 26,000 power avoid that 23 plus 2, that's another 25,000. Void that. So I just back and forth like this. This one's up to almost 27,000. Get picky. Um, this will increase your probability of winning. Get picky. Um, there's a 25,000 no boost, but not even close. I'm not even going to try it. 
just get picky the whole event like this. And you can literally start back and forthing like this and just watch that overall power. When I get one down to like 20, then I'll start paying attention to lineups. But I just back and forth, back and forth. That was 27. No, nope, that was 25. Takes a while, but again, look, here's another one. Great one here. Actually, it might be the same one I played. It's all right, though. 20,000, so that's at 28. That's you know, maybe 21,000. Low lineup. I can win at that one. Um, I'm not going to game play again because I'm already up at 10 minutes, but cycle through like that, um, and you'll get easy wins. I've not lost yet on League 5. So uh, cycle through like that. Game play. Take some of those tips into account, especially when you're rotating between who you score with. Um, the other thing is a tie, you can't tie in this one or have your event points. So your event points get cut in half. Uh, pay attention to leaderboard. You know, I, I'll get top reward pretty quickly. This is a really quick event. You can get up to top reward really quickly um, if you get those wins on League 5. Right now I'm in bracket 4, which is awesome. I don't know if I'll stay there or not. You know, if I go down and pay attention to the scoreboard... What I have to watch and what you have to watch is I've got to be above the highest power and bra- or highest event points in bracket five. So right now I'm 2,000 ahead. I doubt I'll keep up on it this weekend. I'll probably just get top reward and give up. Or not give up, but not fight on the leaderboard because I'm fully free to play. So I'm not going to spend any coin. Um, but there is a chance at bracket four. Who knows? Anyways, there's... A lot here, and again, a long video, but I wanted to give you tips. Really cycle through, find the best team, get your lineup how you like to score, pay attention to those individual matchups, and then cycle between your scores. Don't keep trying to score with the same guy. 2K will, they will make you not hit two shots in a row. Um, leave a comment. You know, If you have any questions, let me know. I do have a Discord as well, but um, let me know if this helps. I, I, it's an easy top reward if you can get your buckets. And there's ways to decrease your chances and there's ways to increase your chances. And and hopefully this maximizes your chance at winning and getting that top reward. Good luck, everybody. And I hope you do well. Again, contact me, comment comment to me. Let me know how you do. Let me know if I can help. Um, I'm always just trying to help. Like I said before, I'm not putting together a presentation or a fancy thumbnail. I'm not trying to get clickbait. I'm just trying to help you out. So let me know. Um, I appreciate the comments and and the watching and hopefully it helps. Good luck and hopefully get that top reward. B-Dog out.